It's a common complaint on the fire ground that engine operators can't get foam into their systems during fire attack or overhaul. Let's take a look at several of the causes of foam failure that operators can address. You must remember that the production of foam is not automatic. If supplying foam to a pre-connected hose line, there's 250 feet of hose carrying water that must be purged before the foam can reach the nozzle. This can easily take up to 10 seconds. A quicker way to see if your foam is working is to turn the bleeder valve on for the selected hose line to see if foam is actually being discharged at the pump. The flow meter used to monitor water flow through the system does wear out. This can result in the foam pump not operating properly. If the flow meter does not show water flowing, it will not inject any foam. To bypass the flow meter, you can set the foam pro to simulation mode. This causes the pump to inject foam concentrate at a designated percentage based on the simulated flow rate that you can set. Ensure that the foam pump is turned off. Press and hold the up and down arrows simultaneously. You should then see three lines appear on the left side of the LCD screen and the simulated flow should read 100. You must ensure that you have a foam discharge open before you turn the foam pump on. Failure to have an outlet for the foam can result in damage to the foam system since the foam injection will not fluctuate based on flow rate. Once you turn the foam system on, it will begin injecting foam at the percentage set based on the GPM that is entered on the control panel. Once you are in simulation mode, you can cycle to the percentage screen to adjust the foam percentage and cycle to the flow screen to adjust your simulated flow. When you need to terminate a simulated flow, simply press both up and down arrows again and the pump will return to automatic mode. This is an excellent way to tell if your flow meter has quit working. If you're not getting any foam or a reading from your flow meter, but you can get foam while in a simulated flow, you will know that your flow meter is more than likely broken. If your flow meter is working, but you suspect that it is no longer accurately calibrated, you can calibrate it yourself at the station. This is not the most accurate way to ensure calibration, but it will get you within an acceptable range in order to use Class A foam. To enter calibration mode, you will need to remove the cover screw and O-ring on the left side of the control panel with an Allen wrench. You will then enter the setup mode by pressing the internal button on the left side of the controller behind the screw with the Allen wrench. With the pump running in gear, affix a smoothbore nozzle to any of the foam-capable discharges. If available, you can attach the Elkhart brass breakaway with a smoothbore tip to the bumper line discharge or a 2.5 inch smoothbore with a 1.8 inch tip on the left rear discharge. Open your discharge and nozzle and set your pump discharge pressure to 50 psi. Since we already know the discharge flow for a smoothbore at 50 psi, we know what our flow meter should be reading while flowing through the nozzle. Once the setup mode has been accessed and water is flowing, with the pump pressure at 50 psi, press the up or down arrows to set the reading to match what your flow rate should actually be based on your smoothbore tip at 50 psi. Once your pressure is set, exit calibration mode by again pressing and releasing the internal button and then replacing the O-ring and screw back into the hole. When flowing foam, the pump volume does play a role in foam production, especially with the red line. The Foam Pro requires a minimum of 35 GPM to operate. While this is not typically an issue with attack lines, the volume a red line produces is often overestimated. With the automatic nozzles affixed to our red lines, it requires at least 175 PSI from the pump to flow 36 gallons per minute through the red line. If you're unable to get foam through the booster, double check your pump pressure to make sure you're pumping enough water. If you're operating on a Spartan apparatus that is equipped with both Class A and Class B foam, double check to make sure your foam selector is turned to the appropriate foam. It's not uncommon for drivers to place this valve midline between the two foams. Doing this does close the valve and prevents any foam from entering the system. Finally, if you are unable to get any foam from your system, it is possible that the foam strainer has become clogged. 
This is actually a problem that personnel can address themselves at the station. The foam strainer can be accessed underneath the cab and can be located anywhere along the foam line. Make sure the foam valve is closed, remove the filter with the appropriate wrench or ratchet, and flush the filter with water. Reinstall the filter, reopen the foam line, and check your discharge to see if foam is once again flowing. If none of these solutions resolve your problem with providing foam to your hose lines, contact the shop for further evaluation.